interesting story that we are following. Jury selection has begun for the civil trial involving the 2018 mass shooting at Santa Fe High School. Eight students and two educators were murdered and more than a dozen others wounded. Families of the victims are suing the parents of the charged gunman. Tonight, KPRC2 investigator Robert Arnold is in Galveston to show us what to expect from this trial. A panel of 150 potential jurors was chosen from the general jury pool today, and those 150 spent much of the day filling out a lengthy questionnaire. They'll be brought back in the morning when attorneys for both sides will begin whittling the number down to find 12 jurors and two alternates to hear this lawsuit. Court documents show there are dozens of witnesses and exhibits involved in this lawsuit, and the trial is expected to last at least three weeks. Families of those killed during the mass shooting at Santa Fe High School and those who survived are hoping the civil trial will finally bring some level of accountability. They are suing the parents of Dimitrios Pogorchis, claiming they should have seen the warning signs their son was headed toward violence, done more to get him help and ensure he didn't get his hands on the shotgun and pistol in the family's house. They've denied any wrongdoing. Court records show Pogorchis' school records, including three years of emails between school staff and his mother, will be included in the trial. Attorneys for the families are also fighting to include an essay written by Pogorchis explaining what led to the shooting, as well as his recorded statements to police on the day of the shooting, arguing the attack was planned. More than a year after the shooting, Pogorchis was declared incompetent to stand trial, and the criminal case remains in limbo. As a result, much of the evidence gathered in that case remains shielded from the public. The district attorney's office only recently released some of the evidence to the family's attorneys, but would only share information pertaining to events leading up to the shooting, not evidence gathered that day or beyond. Despite promises from Governor Greg Abbott, there has been no third party investigation into what warning signs were missed, what lessons could be learned, or an analysis of the police response. Families of the victims believe the civil trial is their best shot at getting these answers. Some school staff members and officers who responded to the shooting are also expected to testify, along with victims who survived the attack. Judge Jack Ewing is presiding over this case, and the plan is to have a full jury seated by end of day tomorrow with opening statements scheduled for Wednesday. Reporting from the Galveston County Courthouse, Robert Arnold, KPRC 2 News.